Donald Trump is making the most of the last days before the Mueller report catches up to him once and for all. Everyone's wondering how he will spend these last few days before the dark cloud swallows his administration completely. Trump has tried to go after healthcare again, protected the Special Olympics, and has had a few fits of rage. Regardless of how he spends these days, the real question is what comes after that? What is his long-term game plan? In a recent New York Times article, tucked away in the last paragraph we got a glimpse of what the administration seems to be planning for. It says after two years in office, Mr. Trump, 72, is tired, Aide said. The unstoppable campaigner, so far, will commit to participating in only one campaign event a day and recently balked at a possible rally out west during a fundraising swing. This should not be surprising given that Trump's poor health is more than obvious. His physical health is a mess and his cognitive abilities are dropping with each passing day, but why would his own people mention this to the New York Times? Perhaps they are trying to set the stage for a candidate to step aside when the chance presents itself. At the very least, a few members of Trump's inner circle are preparing for him to be a one-term president. This seems interesting given that he's currently claiming he was just exonerated and the most successful president ever. Maybe he plans to hide behind bar and push the scandals off as much as he can before announcing he's had enough and he doesn't plan to run for re-election. It will be interesting to see if this surfaces again and if his team continues to work like this is a possibility.